Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Nazmi bin Abdul Rahim, and my supervisor name is Dr Azwin Aida binti Bahari. So I am from BNE, Faculty of Engineering Technology. So my project title is Password Code and Fingerprint Based Security Using Relay. So from the abstract, this this project focusing on security system. And the implementation is more to industrial site, such as manufacturing plant, or site that have a mega machine that must turn on and shut down carefully. So by using a password and fingerprint scanner, can reduce the chance to fatal injury because of only the, the person in charge that can turn on, on or off the system. Electrical engineer protection user using user changeable password circuit breaker and fingerprint and fingerprint scanner to trigger the circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch design to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by overload or short circuit. Its basic function is to detect uh, a fault condition or interrupt current flow. A keypad and fingerprint scanner are used to authorize the input and a relay to open or close the circuit breaker, which is indicated by a lamp. So, um, in this abstract, uh, in the real life situation, uh, we, we, we must use circuit breaker, but in this prototype, I use relay to act like it is a circuit breaker. Introduction, we go to intro introduction. Electrical accidents are defined as any incident in which an electric current has an anticipated consequences, consequence and cause, causes injury, death or damage to property. And what is the problem? Back these few years, so many fatal injuries caused from electrical maintenance and equipment failures. So misunderstanding between the technician and the general workforce are to blame for many of the industry side fatalities. This project designed to make an advantage to engineers and technicians because of its reliability, safety, with a proper design can make sure that uh, the engineers are safe. Uh, the engineers and the technician are safe when handling the equipment. This system will improve a safety system while doing maintenance repair. It is easier to interrupt the incoming current and provide a big confidence while repairing the while, while repairing in the electrical field. So my objective of this project is to develop a relay system with fingerprint and password protection. So the fingerprint and password protection is the most security, the most high security system uh, in this world right now. So I use uh, these two input uh, to, to uh, into my prototype. So the second is to monitor the system operation in a real-time situation. So we can monitor um, uh, the system, uh, which is uh, when we turn on the system, the LCD will uh, the LCD will uh, show us uh, pass accepted, and that is uh, that that and that shows us uh, the current uh, flow. So the third one is to verify the performance of the operation via experimental setup. So I I I make this prototype uh, by using experimental setup to see how uh, the uh, to show how the system works and to verify the performance. And for the literature review, um, actually. Um, uh, many project has done this project, but um, I improved the system uh, and 
uh, adding these two input which is fingerprint and password so um, and push button emergency push button uh, before before this uh, the prototype is have only one which is uh, just fingerprint scanner and or uh, just a keypad and there is no um, emergency button so uh, the for the literature review i uh, uh, i find uh, this uh, i put these three literature which is i i uh, make uh, this uh, literature review short in sentence so the admin the for then and for the first project the arduino uno microcontroller board serve as the central hub for the whole system so the arduino uno is um, the the microcontroller that control all the system the entire operation of the various components is controlled by the microcontroller and circuit breaker that require a password to operate are designed to ensure that the power line is only activated when the password is input correctly. So when uh, the user uh, insert the password correctly, so the circuit breaker is triggered and uh, the current will flow. And the second project is a fingerprint reader, which is attempt to become an optical. So this uh, so many uh, fingerprint scanner in out uh, in the market right now. So we. Uh, one of the fingerprint reader is optical, solid state, and ultrasonic sensor. So this project uh, is uh, used biometric uh, characteristics. So and it save uh, in a database, uh, in a database as a template with a user identity, and the system uh, will ask for a pin code, and if it enter correctly, the micro microcontroller deactivate the line relay so that the maintenance can be performed on the wiring. So this project is use uh, pin code and fingerprint scanner. Uh, this uh, this project use two inputs, but no uh, emergency push button to cut off the current to cut off the load. So uh, in in this project, if the password is, is incorrect, the system will ask for a passcode again. Uh, if the fingerprint do not match, the system won't ask for password and it won't ask for a password if the fingerprint match. And for the third literature review is Arduino Uno and a GSM module are used to interface with the transformer control unit in the construction of the model. And uh, this use keypad, LED indicator and a microprocessor control stepper motor all around or surround the uh, controller. And uh, to transmit the uh, and this project is use GSM model and uh, GSS GSM module and Arduino Uno and to transmit the receive password to the lineman mobile phone and the control panels GSM receiver and this have uh, uh, like a control panel control center uh, and is treated as if it were a mobile phone and uh, the at the so the person at the control center is sending a secure password to both control panel gsm receiver and the technician mobile phone and when it is confirmed by command center operator uh, the correct password has been put into the controller and that's it uh, switch off the circuit breaker before unlocking the panel door so this project um, this third project is using Arduino Uno and GSM module. So the technician uh, and uh, control center will have um, the data receiver. Uh, to uh, and if they want to cut off the current, they will uh, they will have the secure password uh, by using by transfer into their phone. And uh, uh, so this is my project. This is not diagram of my project. So I use four times four keypad and fingerprint module and this which is these two input when uh, i insert the password and place my fingerprint and scanning the arduino uh, and scanning the my fingerprint it will send the data into arduino uno and it will process um, into um, 
and uh, it will process into uh, and go to the relay and the output is also have lcd screen and the bulb and this is a latch button which act like um, uh, emergency push button so um uh, my project is uh, when uh, we uh, first uh, we must um, scan the fingerprint our finger fingerprint in uh, onto the fingerprint module and after that um, the LCD will uh, will show enter the uh, password and if the password is correct um, and the LCD will the LCD will show pass accepted and the relay will trigger and uh, it will turn on the bulb and if if uh, we want to off uh, the current uh, we must um, do it again uh, insert the finger, uh, place the fingerprint onto fingerprint module and insert the pass, uh, right password and the and the relay will trigger and turn off the bulb and the latch button is act like um, it is bypass uh, from AC, AC current, so it will uh, not in the coding, so it just bypass through the bulb. So if we push the uh, latch button, the current will uh, interrupt. And will when uh, if we push again, the current will flow. Uh, just uh, yeah, the current will flow to the bulb. And uh, this is uh, my result and discussion. If we want to enter the ID, we must uh, press button A to enter the ID. Uh, so yeah, we must enter button A and scan the uh, our fingerprint. Uh, and then the display will, uh, the LCD will display enter fingerprint. And after the uh, green light uh, turn off, um, it is it shows the fingerprint is matched with the thought fingerprint. So after that, uh, uh, we must enter the uh, pass, uh, correct password. Then yeah, the LCD will display enter password. And if the right password, uh, in if the insert password is matched uh, with the source coding the LCD will, it will display pass accepted and then uh, it will uh, trigger the relay and then the bulb uh, will turn on. So if we want to turn off the bulb, we must uh, do it the same thing, which is uh, press A and then scan the finger, fingerprint scanner and then uh, insert the right password after that, uh, the relay will trigger and the current and, and the bulb is uh, will off, will turn off. And, uh, and on the right side, uh, which is the um, latch button, which act, uh, which, uh, act like emergency push button. So they, uh, if we push the latch button, the current will uh, interrupt. Even the password or the fingerprint scanner is right. If we push the button, the bulb will turn off. And for the conclusion, uh, in this uh, project, shows a conceptual implementation of password primary, base and fingerprint scanner, security using a relay control with a view to reduce the dimension uh, of the circuit breaker and facilitate the idea of as needed innovating technique, innovation technique. Moreover, this will get rid of the priority concerning security vul vulnerability of third party gadget because the platform is open supply. Being a, a prototype conceptual implementation, feature paintings can be achieved on implementation of open supply in French engine so one can acquire recommendation uh, on upkeep. And then integration with uh, automatic upkeep, management software program, and development to, uh, of open source hosting server. So 
this is my references. So mostly I um, refer it to IEEE website. Um, so this, are, this is the three reference I put in my poster, which is uh, the passcode basic interrupter and the development and implementation of password fingerprint based and password based distribution panel and circuit breaker operation during the maintenance work, work. So thank you. And that's all from me. Assalamualaikum. So now I want to show you how to enroll my uh, fingerprint. So at the serial monitor at the Arduino, uh, if successfully enroll the fingerprint, it shows the ID is already stored. So after we start, we enroll uh, the fingerprint. So this is the prototype of my project. I use the junction box. And this is the graphbook and AC adapter. And this is fingerprint module. And this is 4 times 4 keypad. And this is 16 times 2 I2C type. And this is the box. And this is uh, on the right side. This is the latch button. Act like emergency push button. So uh, yeah, and this is uh, the 12 volt connector. And we go into uh, in the junction box. So we clearly can see. Uh, I use the power bank to power up the Arduino Uno. So and this this is the single channel relay this is the breadboard this is a Arduino Uno and yeah uh, uh, this, is, this is the inside of my tension box so if we want to turn on the Arduino we must Yeah, we must check all the connection. Uh, okay, so that they are not um, the current cannot uh, interrupt. The current cannot shut. So yeah, clearly you can see. Uh, then uh, if you want to start uh, the the scanner, we want to. So we must uh, turn on the AC adapter and we must um, uh, tap the reset button on to Arduino so if we push the latch button uh, on the right side uh, the bulb is turned on so you can clearly see the state of this uh, prototype which is if we turn on the uh, AC adapter the bulb will turn on so as it is uh, so we must scan uh, our fingerprint first so we must add press A so it will enter fingerprint so we must clear so the star will clear the uh, words a words so we must enter the password one two three four so the step button is act like the enter button so uh, if we uh, so they they show us the wrong password because uh, if we late or to scan the fingerprint uh, the fingerprint module is not detected so, so we can see it here uh, when uh, the state of this project is the bug is turned on so if we want to turn off the bug we must uh, press A and enter the fingerprint uh, and the star button is the clear button so we must clear the A so we must put the correct password 1, 2, 3 and 4 and this is the enter button so the pass accepted the bug is 
turn off so the relay is trigger in the junction box so the load uh, is turn off uh, the current will not flow so if we want to turn on the bulb uh, we if we want to uh, let the current flow we must use uh, we must do it again uh, by press a button so scan the fingerprint so clear set the right so the pass accepted then the current will flow uh, and the bulb uh, will turn on so this is the uh, you can see push button if I push this button the loop will turn off it will interrupt the current so let's see so now uh, the bulb is turned off so there is no current uh, flow in this prototype in this uh, yeah, into the bulb sorry so, thank you that's all from me